Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Just another day in the neighborhood. This is going to be sold today either on eBay or through Craigslist. Um, so if I get a bid on eBay, I started bidding at 300 when I only paid 75 for it, and I got a little bit of time into it, fixing and welding and whatnot. But, so that'd be a nice profit. I haven't heard back from the guy that looked at my truck. Um, I talked to you guys before about the bathroom. I don't think we need a heater on, actually. About this light, how it's leaning back like that. So what I did was, um, I ordered another one because I was going to do the Andy Sneaky and just um, put mine back in the box and send it back. But <laughs> don't tell anybody my tricks. But I did get some stuff in today. I got more caps. These caps should have been here like a week ago, but they spent time. They shipped them from Lancaster, is where it is uh, Amazon Warehouse. And from Lancaster... To my town, sent from my town up to Naharford, back to my town, back to Rochester, that's way the hell out there. It sat around in Syracuse, bouncing around through their place. I mean, if I showed you the, the travel that these little stupid black caps took, you just wouldn't believe it. You'd be like, what is wrong with these freaking people? Um, I've got my Made in Germany, um, there we go, Labatul, Labatul, um, this is supposed to be, it's supposed to look like wood cock, so this is what I'm going to use on the inside of the door, on the cracks, because if you notice, the inside of the door is lighter and I might be able to blend it in a little bit better. Compared to if this is too light, it'll show up like it'll show up stupid out here, considering you know the color is way off. To where the color would would blend in a lot better, I I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Who knows? This is gonna be trial and error, but they don't give this stuff away, I can tell you that. I got my shutoff valve for my outside faucet. And I've got my um, single pole. The one I used in there was a dual pole. And I need a single. So it's just basically a one switcher. You know, they never give you the recess box. This is exactly what I need. Right there. Just two wires. The other box I got has four wires on it. So there's my other screw. I had a screw loose. I always got a screw loose, don't I? All right. So what's this say? Oh, it's got that stupid comfort zone horse shit on it. Oh, well. Well, good. So you can't screw hooking this up. So here is here is the other hand that came in. Because if you're going to do this shit, you might as well do it right. And not cob it up. So. I took this out of the bag. Hang on a minute. Wow, that's a tough bag. I'm trying to rip this bag open. Let me go shut off the inverter. Inverter's beeping because I got my heater on. There, shut that off. Shut that off. So the uh, refrigerator just came on at 187 watts. It shouldn't be beeping because I'm over 12 volts, so it can just sit there and beep. There's nothing wrong with it. So here's the hand that I got, the replacement. You instantly see something already. For one, the hand isn't even mounted straight. The hand is tilted up like this already. As you can see from the bottom, you can see the light through the bottom of the crack of it. And you can even see the socket is tipped back like crazy. Look at the tip back in that socket. That's supposed to be level, the white part. 
So other than the fact that it's crooked as shit, the hand, so the hand is like tipped back like this, and then the socket's kicked back. It's like, what the freaking hell? But, you know, I was thinking what I probably should have did is just drill the hole in the wall and just bolted this right through the wall and not have a backer on it. That would have been pretty cool. So this looks like it's just hot glued in. And I might have to, uh, I might have to unhot glue it. So I might have to unbolt this off of here and sand some of this down to bring the hand level with the base. See, I got one to play with now, so let's put it next to the other one and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, they really screwed this one up. All right, so yeah, you can instantly see it. See it's tipped up. And then the light bulb will be back even further. This is a different size base. What the hell? This is different. The the bake the backers half the size. Huh. Oh, that's different. Maybe I can put one out here. I don't know. Alright, so this is totally wrong altogether. It's too dark. Well, I got my money back, so this doesn't really freaking matter. So we'll put that off to the side for now and not worry about it because it was free. Chinese junk. They can't make anything match up. Uh, all right. I am going to run in the house quick and switch the refrigerator back over to house power. Because that's the only thing running right now. See, if my batteries were any good, it would have been holding the sun charge all day, but it's not. Beep. Sounds like a heart monitor. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So as you can see here, this is a double pole. So this is for 220 to break two separate lines and to where my new one is a single pole. So hopefully this will straighten it out because when you turn this one on, unhook this and then I gotta get off of that one all right gotta take the ground off I'm using my impact with a uh, flat screwdriver on it all right nice to have all the toys so get off of there give it the old tug -a rooney there we go. So you can obviously see the difference between the double. I mean, I took off the other two wires. But when you click this, you hear it click. When you click it, it's just stayed on. But normally when it shut off, you would hear like a click. You know, it's 60 or 70 degrees where it shut off. Let's see. So this one. Okay, so this one has a click. I can hear it. So once this gets up to temp, then that should shut off. So, so what's happening, what you're seeing here is um, all this is doing is breaking the hot wire that goes into the heater. So if I was to touch these two together, that would be like touching the black wire on the black wire down there. So you're just shutting out the power. It's like a light switch. That's all you're doing when you shut your lights off. You're just disconnecting the, the black hot wire. So that's all this is doing. But I'm not sure with this being a double pull. They said you could use it for a single, but I don't know. I, uh, I'm i not going to mess around because now if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to do something else. I'm probably going to have to take, I mean, the electric heater does work. But I can't just leave it on wide open all the time. I mean, I need something to control it. So, so I'm going to take a second. I'm going to hurry, wire this back in. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so there's one thing down. I got the new one in. And you can hear it actually click. Right there. 
so on and off. So right now it's reading 70, so that's got to be right between the word comfort zone it has to be 70. So I'm turning it up a little bit and oh, she's getting hot. So I'll just put this little guy, I'll set him off to the side for now. And put this over here for the moment. Because my all of my other screws came in. So that means I can finish I can finish these little snappers in here. So I'll do that while it's warming up. And then I've got to cut in my uh, shutoff valve for my outside faucet, which is going to be cut in here. So I'll shut my water off down there, the main line, and then um, stick my shutoff handle right here. So everything will be all right here, close and easy to get at. So this door here pops open. If I had some fingernails to use. I don't because I freaking bite them off. What can I use to pop that open with? Oh, it's always something. How about a screw? I'm going to use a screw. Look at it. There's my new fingernail right there. It's a screw. So, this little door pops open. Damn it. Someday it'll pop open. Alright. And then I can reach in here. And I can shut off my water. So now my water shut off. Since the toilet is the lowest point in this room, um, all the water should back feed down out of it. So, you hear that? You hear it back feeding. It's sucking air through here to go back down. So I should be good to cut it. And I'm probably going to get a little water in the wall, but... I don't care. Since this is higher than everything else. Yeah. A little bit of drippies of water. That's about it. I can hear a gurgling back here. Yep. Alright. So, I'm going to set this down and put that in quick. Alright. So, there it is. The new shutoff valve is in. If i got to shut the outside faucet off, I can run in here and shut it off right there. And if something happens to the shower or I want to change my shower valve, I can shut them off right there. I only got a little bit of water in there. So, the toilet's refilling. Everything else is refilling back up. And that's it. See, this is just a little stupid crap I do when, you know, if I'm not really videoing much, anything too interesting, this is like what I do. But I can close my little door down here. Or can I close my door? There it is. That door I just glued it on. It had no screws in it, so I just glued around the edge of it. Okay. So little things get done, little at a time. Cool. So my next thing is screws in here. And that's gonna be pretty much about it because you know, I'm running out of stuff to do. Wackadoo, wackadoo. All right, so there's that. The old cover. These are the screws that I use in the caps. And uh, I'm just going to go and finish putting these on. I've only got so many. Boy, I can feel the heat in here already. Yeah, that's hot. Wow. Feel that heat coming out of that puppy. I think close the door. Stay nice and warm in here. Alright, so I'll be back and this will I'll have black dots on it. Alright, so there's that. I left one. Just to show you how this works, because um you gotta watch when it spins it in there. And when the cap spins, you know when to stop. You see the cap spin up? Once it spins up, that's when you stop. And you snap it in. So that's it. All of my caps are on now. And this tile will never go any place. 
I saved you watching me do this 330 or 40 times. Because, like I said before, each bag is 150 caps. So, I've been out here for a long time doing this crap. Putting a screw inside this little cap. And it's got to get down just so tight or the cap won't snap over it. So, yes. I'm happy that's the official end of that. So now, what do I move on to now? So we'll leave this little heater off. Matter of fact, I'll turn this heater sideways. That's a safety switch in case it falls off. It can't turn on unless it's over. Just a safety thing. All right, so... Leave this off. Jesus, they're up 72 in here. That's done. I called uh, called the overhead door guys, and I talked to the, the owner, the wife, and um, told her to let Tom know I need some tracks, so he's going to give me some. And she actually went outside to look to see if there's any tracks for the dumpster. She goes, well, I'll go out and take a look for you. I'm like, wow, sweet, you know, that's pretty cool. Because I know how far she had to go to take a look. So it isn't, it isn't just like look out the window. She had to go out of the building, around, and yeah. So that's how cool they are down there. All right, so little things are getting done. It doesn't seem like much, but to me, it's like, this little bit more of a relief, this little bit more of a, of a relief. So now, you know, those little black screw caps were pissing me off because they're going all over the countryside getting a tour. So now I know I've got a working switch. And since I really don't know the history of this, and um, I was going to steal the knob off it. There we go. I'm keeping the knob. This can go in the garbage. And I don't think this cover will fit. It was a Lux, but I'll say the cover. That thing can go in the garbage. I can't trust it. It turns on, but won't shut off. I can't have that. We'll save this box just, just for a little bit of time, just to be sure. Geese are still flying overhead like crazy. Um, oh, I did hear, while I paused my video, the phone rang, and it was a guy, and he says... The truck will just not fit in his garage. He said he's short about a half a foot for it to fit in his garage. And I'm like, that's okay. I said, it's all right. I said, you know, there's the truck will be sold. It'll go somewhere. I said, I'm not, I was, no, no, no. He goes, I, I want the truck. He goes, I gotta, I gotta figure something out. He goes, uh, maybe I can make it a short box or something. I'm like, really, you know? But I wouldn't waste my time doing that. But he said he's going to go look at another truck, which then questions my his sincerity about, I really want your truck. I'm like, hey, that's all right. I said, look, it. I said, don't let it bother you. I said, at least you showed up. I said, nobody else, they say they're going to show up. They never show up. So at least you showed up. So I'm happy with that. And the guy was cool. So anyways, so I was looking nice to him. I'm like, hey, no problem. I said, if you find another truck, just let me know. Just say, hey, I, I found a truck. And I'd be like, all right, cool. Have a good life. See you later. You know, no big deal. There's an answer for every seat, they say. But if I didn't have a car, I'd keep the damn thing. I'd just keep it and drive it. I wouldn't care. But, yeah, I blew all my sawdust back here in the carpet so I can vacuum it easier. I tell you, my wife wants me to vacuum in the house. I must have vacuumed my garage like 15 times compared to once in the house. But... Because, well, because my house doesn't look like that, you know. All this full of sawdust and shit all over the carpet, you know. I had a couple ideas when I get money again. If I want to either put the two-foot carpet squares out here. Or if I want to deal with this. I don't think I want to deal with this plastic shit again. Because it doesn't stick for crap. And I wanted to do something in here. But I'm not sure yet. I don't want to paint it. Because, you know, paint never sticks to concrete anyways. 
Everybody knows that. Everybody's painted a concrete floor, and you know this shit doesn't stick, you know? So, I don't know. Something's been shrinking or something, because I can see, like, a little crack opening up there. Um, now, he does have, there is that foam shit in there. He stapled that all the way around. He put the foam sealer against the garage, so it's got that black foamy shit. Well, you remember when I pulled the forms out for the bathroom, had that thick black foam stuff that I would have just poured a concrete right against the garage and I wouldn't care, but there's a right way and a wrong way for everything. But see, even in, in the wintertime, I could still even work on this in the wintertime out here. Bring my heater out, take a panel off. Maybe that's what I'll do right now. I'll flip this door around the, way, the right way it's supposed to be. Because I know for a fact this is the top. So this panel is actually the top panel. It's obvious. So this is the top panel. So this panel is the one that's going to have to get cut down. So I'm assuming that the lock belongs here on the second panel. And then this panel belongs on top of the lock... So I have to switch this panel and this one and put this one. Now, wait a minute. I got to switch panels around. So the lock, I think they're always right here. So this top panel has got to come down to the number two. And this number two panel has to be number four. And this one can actually stay there. Yeah, this panel can stay there. Yeah, because I only have to switch the top to the second position. I just have to switch these two. So I just got two panels backwards, not three. Sorry, buddy, the door doesn't open yet. You know, it's too bad I couldn't make this one of those doors like England has. Because their doors, you ever see England doors? When they open, they tip out this way. That'd be pretty cool. Had the door swing out like that. But... No, I couldn't do it because when it goes to swing, unless it swings down and out, then it would miss this up here, but. What? You all worried about it? Are you all worried about it? Huh? Yeah. You being a good boy, he's getting to be a little fat puppy because he likes cookies and donuts and everything that daddy eats. I know. And then you do the bite bites on me. And then you do little bite bites on me. I know. Are you a good boy today? I'm going to get you. I gotta see the little butt. I gonna get you little butt. I gonna get you little butt. Boy, big bite bite boy. Yeah, he's crazy. We just heard a bird scratching around on the other side of the garage and he's kind of just standing on his back feet looking up. You gotta get my whole wrist in your mouth, don't you? Don't you? Well, you think I am a chew toy? You think I'm your chew toy? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Are you a good boy? Yeah, he just wants to play. Look at how fat you're getting. You're looking like a little turd with feet. I know. Spoiled. Uh, let's see. I guess that's going to be it. Yeah, I guess that's going to be it for now. Um, maybe we'll play with those doors, just flop them around because i got nothing else better to do. You know? Maybe I will. I can't actually, I, I can't believe I'm to this point now, you know, that I can slow down and relax a little bit. But I'm going to poly the ceiling, like with that Pro Poly Pro. So I'm going to do that in the ceiling. So that's probably going to take three, I don't know, quite a few of them. I don't know how many. I'll have to add it up. Probably 12 sheets, maybe. I don't know. So it'd be like this. And I got to get more silver tape to seal the seams, stop drafts and stuff. But it's getting there. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, now, just hold on a minute there. So I just used this stuff on the inside of the door. And it kind of blends in okay. You can see the seams. You can see the seams, but I'm going to lightly sand this when it dries. But here's the good part now. There was gaps like crazy in this door. You can see daylight through it. Look at that. 
only thing you see now is is in here because I don't have it finished up. The door is perfectly dark. So, yeah, once I get this finished off, which maybe tomorrow I'll do it, finish off the inner frame, this will be sealed perfectly. And the electric heat is right on the freaking money because I made a little mark that says 70. So that is holding it at, well, 69.8. I just opened the door, but at 70. So I'm not touching anything. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is go on the other side, unplug this. Actually, I think I can unplug it through here. Because I got it plugged into the other outlet back here. All right, we don't need that now. So, we don't need him anymore. Although, it may be nice just, just to keep him out here. We'll just keep him here in case of emergencies. You know, just for the hell of it. Let's see, hot water heater is nice. You know something, I watched this come on and off, and it doesn't come on and off very much. It comes on for like five minutes and shuts off. I was like, damn, that's pretty good. Well, because it's only a five-gallon heater. Eventually, this, this door sweep will break in a little bit better. But yeah, for the money I paid for this, and now all I got to do is get some of my dark stain if I wanted to. As you can see, the caulk in there. And I can just use like a little model brush and touch this up with some dark stain. You know, just to give it the shadow effect. If I want to be, you know, that touchy about it. Um, I did flip this all around. So I did put the door back the way it's supposed to go. So... There it is. This is where your lock is supposed to be. And now uh, the top's up where the top's supposed to be. Of course, for some reason, it seems higher now because I couldn't put this lock in up here because it hits way up there. So, doing. So, anyways, I got that squared out, squared round, squared up, squared here, there, somewhere. I just don't get this 10 foot door with a 10 foot three opening. It's like, what the hell do I do with a three inch gap around the door now? Actually inch and a half. Because I always thought you make the door opening the same width as the door, or at least minus a half an inch for that rubber flapper to seal against for this, you know? But I don't know. I may have to add a board out here. I don't freaking know. I'm not worried about it. I got a shit ton of Amish wood anyway, so. This is officially going to be the end of the video. Lock her up. Code light. Maybe I want to get a minute and I'll get down to Lowe's and get a couple things that I need. Minor, stupid things. And uh, that's it. So, do me a favor. Like, shy, like, yeah, like, shive, and square. How's that one? Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, that's it. And winter is on its way. The ducks are still going over by the boatload. All right, everybody. I'm done. Have a good night. Take care. And all you new subscribers, thank you very much for jumping on the boat. And you get a minute, go visit Ron's site over there friend of mine in ohio ron's 217 garage and uh, once he gets done with all the work he's doing now for other people then maybe he can get back doing his own stuff because that's what he's doing now everybody else's stuff so this has been a nice break for me because i was doing everybody else's stuff and now i got time to do my stuff so i'm happy Alrighty, righty catch you later have a good day